Chayo in the race in Monserrado County. Musta Dore, Musta S.B. Dore is my name. You know, this is Tabiria. And there is one thing I admire. I see the level of unification, the level of respect and deportment. I call it the ambassador. But Ambassador Ria, over the period of time, we've been in Liberia. And we observe that uh, there have been this issue of this peace commission. You serving as the peace ambassador, knowing for the world that there have been problems between the Loma, the Madingo in Lofa, the Gio and Kran, Grand Jide County, Nimba, and then other intricacies and innuendos involved with the process. Now, you took office almost two years ago. What have you done as a public sector leader or a public sector manager or peace ambassador? to ensure that we have a modus that will take Liberia somewhere, that we all will live in peace and tranquility. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, comrades, uh, by the way of introduction, my name is Ivan Wissel. I let me use this uh, with length to extend my revolutionary tentacle to the people of Nilo. But the question is, the CDC is an embodiment of a democratic-based institution where part of its members are grassroots. Having listened to the debate terminated from the ambience of the perpetrated national legislature that has to do with the astronomical increment in the registration process of fee as it relates to who be representatives and senatorial candidates. Hoping to the fact that both of the CDC members and partisans who want to participate in a deeper democratic process are grassroots, are grassroots. But does, or where does the CDC stand? The was this particular proposed bill. Thank you very much. We organize for all work, all session meetings. But uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Pone, Dolly, Mr. Dolly. Yeah, and, uh, but again. Uh, we are a democratic state, uh, and I want you to know, I've been very clear, you know, and, uh, uh, I think every Liberian has the right, the constitutional right, to be what they want to be. Sure. I welcome you in the race. I welcome you in the race, but I want you to be mindful. The reason we got into the race is not a game. The reason we got into the race is we got into politics is when we see the, the eyes of our people. Those who have stood for during the war. Those who we see every day that, that cannot afford to take the children to school, that cannot afford to take the children to hospital. These are the people we are fighting for. It's not to go against you. Because I listen to all of you people when you come, I'm going to pick George Weah. It's not about me. It's about representation. So I am going to the I'm going to the race. My party believe that I can make a difference for our people. So if you're in the race to beat me, you need to make sure that you think about how you're gonna help your people, how you're gonna develop your life. That's what I'm going for. But again, like I say, we are sports says bring it on. It's a challenge. And we're all in the race. Bring it on, brother. <laughs> Now, then I go to the peace uh, initiative that you talk about. You know, citizen, I know a lot of you people are aware. It means mean that the peace ambassador, before I came to being a peace ambassador, there was a peace initiative 2013 uh, uh, program that was put together by those actors. Just the other day, 
they asked me to be, I was appointed to be the peace ambassador. Being a peace ambassador means I'm an agent, a messenger, a one that went through the Ministry of Internal Affairs. My job reference, first of all, let me tell you if you don't know it, is to support all peace initiatives, is to create peace initiatives and ask those people that sustain it to sustain it. If they can, they will sustain it. If they cannot, they will not. Now, you saw the Ballon d'Or that we was the jump start of the peace initiative to bring our people together. That was a success. Today, we're working on the Nima and the Grand Jesus of, of friendship that I have uh, two meetings already with the Nibadians and the Grandidians, they all agree to make that friendship. And in this coming week, we will be calling on Liberians, those who are well many Liberians that want peace to join us, go into the counties and make that friendship. So I want you to know that the peace initiative that uh, five minutes to talk about, I don't control it. I'm just one of the messengers. I support, and when I create something, they support it. So the uh, the person that can answer your question is Minister Dukle. I'm sure will be the will be the person to answer your question if I'm not answering your question the way you expect it to be answered. So the, you know we we'll talk, we we'll talk, and we we know what is unfolding. But we had like uh, 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 nothing going on. And you as a person that, that, that want to be, that want to be senator, that want to be senator of this uh, 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 Mosurado County, you know, I think you should gather information. And I know it, information will be given to you. You know, you don't want to go on the air and think in the home. It's the way out. a lot of people say, he said, send two years. Now, I'm going to outline what I've done in the two years. So please open your ears. Thank you. Since I've become peace ambassador, in conclusion, since I've become peace ambassador, the paramilitary and the military gave the government an ultimatum. Intervening for the dialogue, for the dialogue with the government, because I thought that it was not the right thing to do to give the government an ultimatum. Because I believe in, 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 uh, in peace, and uh, in conflict resolution, there's only three key components. One is to talk in a peaceful way. Two is to bargain it. And the third one is to use force. So we cannot use force before we go to peace. We must uh, step by step. When those people refuse, then you use force. Now, what I voted was for them to give the government an ultimatum because I know they were using force. So I was able to convince them, not persuade them, but convince them to dialogue with the government because I felt that uh, it was in all of us' interest, in your interest, in my interest, because if anything starts, you will not be running. You know, say so it will disrupt what you're trying to do. Now, the LU, the children were so better. And again, I want to inform you that I don't have an office. So in my party office, most of the meetings, either at my residence or at uh, the city's party I've got host the meeting. I was able to talk to a group of early students that was very adamant. When they got to me, I thought that they were not even going to listen to me. But again, thanks to those students, I think the University of Liberia children that came, picked up, but when I spoke to them, I was able to again convince them and let them know that the better way is to dialogue. And they went there. So that two instances, two problems are stopped. I showed you a year when I came in, the Eden stepped down. I intervened. The nurses are struggling. I intervened. So it turns out that in the two years, I've been doing a lot of things. The fact that I'm not talking on the air, it doesn't mean that I'm not doing anything. I'm working behind the scene because I have a responsibility to the president and the internal affairs. 
everything that I do, I communicate with them. Amaro is my witness. Now, about peace, Benin and Yuri. I advocate that. Go to the president, say, Madam President, yeah, you peace ambassador, but get people on the list. These are Liberians. Try your best, Madam, to get them off the list. When I say yes, I think you're right. I will do my best to follow the process. Though 19 or 20 something grand children are in prison, if you see them in court today, because I intervened, I went to the president, Madam President. I think the due process needs to be followed. I appeal to you to make sure that the children go to court. Because I heard. I don't know if it's true that since they were arrested, they have not gone to court. And I said, Judge, I will go to the referee authorities to make sure that the children get their days in court, they exonerate themselves. So for the two years, I have been working to keep the country stable. If that is satisfactory, then that's the right thing. Yeah, and to finish with you, the last time I listened to the radio, our, our good friend, my friend Costa, and they said that if it is true, but it's not true, but they are just giving information that he was in Hancock. And I didn't stop to find out why the hands were in his hand. But you see, and I, I, I want all of you to listen. Maybe we're not aware. From a school of thought, whenever you see anybody in Hancock, because people that are in Hancock are supposed to be in prison, and you are at the court. If anybody in Hong Kong in the street, they could be dangerous. Because when you run away from court, you're a fidgety. When you get Hong Kong in your hand from jail, you're a fidgety. Anybody along with you, they charge them for complicity. I know Costa very well. The first thing that I did, I saw Calasco standing. A place of called the Calasco. I said, what are you doing there? Who is there? He said, oh, that Costa Animal Justice. Hey, Calasco, before they tell you that CDC people making noise, get out of that place. We will follow the right way to do it. The first thing I did, I called Puma. Puma is a witness. You know, I've been in confidentiality. I don't let them sack people's name. But Puma, there's a national issue. Puma said, yes. By 11 o'clock, Mr. Weir called me saying, it's not necessary. Please free Costa. Say, George, he threatened me. He, he, you know, my family uh, here on the board. I will do my best. Before 12 o'clock, Mr. Costa out of prison. So these are the things. You know, uh, and the, the fact that we're working behind the scenes, we're not vulgar. It doesn't mean that we are weak. You know, every strong person to negotiate that is strength. So, if you know, I want you to get that information. I want to ask the post our year so Costa can know that. What will be? Puma is a, 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 a witness. Now, so that, that's what I've been doing since I've been peace ambassador. But pretty soon, you know, you know, they got the code of conduct that's been passed. You know, and uh, uh, that may jeopardize my, my peace ambassador title, but that doesn't stop me from being a volunteer for peace in the Republic of Nigeria. Whether uh, my dear, uh, yes. you know, we've we, we all been concerned. You know, and uh, uh, I don't know if if the bill the bill gone already, but we're very concerned, and I've been I've been negotiating with these people in the house because I believe that what carries them there should carry every Liberian. But if people are going in the house, some people are going there for seven hundred dollars, five hundred dollars on the registration, but to inflate. That from 500 or 700 to 10,000 or 5,000, it's extravagant. Besides that, on what, on what ground? Because to inflict for registration for election, then that means either the country, people are working and making money, there's growth in the economy, you understand? So that's why you pay the What you do is not for your own personal advertisement. What you need to do is because in our community, it's people want and need. So if the wages of registration is low, we got more participants. And I think in our, our democracy, 
in a democratic process, we need more people to participate. It doesn't matter where you come from or who you are, because that's the democratic process. And I show in the 15 years of civil crisis, the reason that we fought civil war is because of undemocratic behavior. So today we came to show we fought that. And if, 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 if maybe, maybe you will hear that there's a new there's a new uh, uh, registration fee, you know, that will be project behind the scenes. And everybody will be satisfied to go to the race. Why would I want to pay uh, ten thousand dollars to go to the race? I can afford. What about a little boy in Uganda? What about a little boy in West Point? What about a man that will stand for his people? He have the uh, ideology and the philosophical uh, 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 reference and, and to move the people forward. If the people bring him forward, what do you do? He doesn't have money. You understand? So it's a horrible ideology. The people want you to go there and then you are supported. But you cannot, you cannot again uh, uh, inflict uh, 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 prices uh, 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 registration fee because you think that, oh, now I'm here, I can afford $10,000. The next man I'm coming, can I afford uh, even $1,000? Yes, people are poor. But you forgot to know that it's all for ideology. If I believe in you, whether you're poor or not, I may even pay 20000 for you to register. And now why the call for democratic day? In 2005, when we came, all of our people, most of our people don't have registration fee. You know, and the party makes sure that everybody register. You know, so it's all about ideology. And so I hope that that, that new uh, registration fee will come up and yeah, she will be satisfied. So we will it. Okay, the first question uh, on the Ebola issue, and uh, I think, with all due respect, he's a journalist. I think the duty, the primary duty of a journalist is to gather information, evaluate them, and then uh, uh, let the public know what is going on. But again, uh, we heard that uh, it's an epidemic is coming towards Liberia. And I think, not only as a citizen or political leader, the first thing I should do is to listen to the expert, which is the doctors. They will inform us that epidemic, how dangerous it is, or, or what are the cases, where is the cases, and then we as citizens will suggest you see, this is how it should be handled. For example, somebody said, why did they move the military to the border? Is that, is, is that going to solve the Ebola issue by taking the army to go to the border? The army is there to defend our country when there's a external threat. But it's not the, uh, when an epidemic, uh, when you have doctors and experts that do research on sicknesses that are supposed to be there. Then you have the immigration as well to escort the people to make sure that those who are coming through the border uh, will be uh, screened. Uh, if there's any problem, then they'll be contained by the experts. That's the job of those people. Not our job. So, but as a citizen, I am concerned that the uh, such epidemic is being announced. But again, we're still waiting. So all of the doctors that, that know that it's dangerous to tell her the way forward. And then, as a political leader, we can speak and let the government know that whatever they need to do to help the doctors to fight combat those uh, 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 that, that epidemic then we we'll go through the house we we'll have people there that will advocate whatever needed to uh, for the problem to be solved and uh, uh, I think they would have done that so that I hope I answer your question but again uh, uh, as I said a gentleman asked me you know I'm not going to uh, uh, answer to any question you see they say you know I let for information to be substantiated because uh, in critical thinking they told us we should gather information, evaluate them, test them before implement them. So once I'm not in that trend, I can answer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank
my dear friends, and uh, we all are concerned about uh, the economy. You know, and, uh, uh, first of all, let us let look at how economy boom. And it's job for people, uh, 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 the resources, the way it's managed, and uh, uh, the amount of people that get jobs, the amount of people that get supported, sausages and all that. And we see how uh, the country got growth. Uh, then uh, uh, we can criticize, but I'm not an uh, uh, economist. So the, what I can say is that, uh, uh, of course, times are hard. Even me as an uh, uh, um, ambassador for peace, I've come up with so many projects and, and, and uh, created a uh, 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 lot of peace initiative that government tells us that uh, uh, that show for in the budget. So that tells you, automatically it tells you that the economy has a problem. <laughs> you don't need to hear it from me. And so what, what we need to do now is not to get on a, a radio to insult either the, 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 the leader of the country or those people that, uh, that are, are, are responsible for, for the economy to boom. What we need to do is to suggest to them what needs what need to be done. For example, all of the, the, the taxes that I put on uh, 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 the goods, because uh, uh, in economics we talk about people's needs and wants. The uh, rest is expensive, but you know that you have a shortfall in the budget, then reduce the rest so those who are that, 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 that are not even working but making ends meet can buy. So the, when the shortfall, we cannot again uh, uh, support scarcity. You understand? So what needs to be done for all of us? Because we have our responsibility as a citizen to suggest to the government to say, look, uh, we got people that go to China that are buying goods that come in. The taxes are too high. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, I think if we reduce tax on this uh, or, or this goods, it can help our people. More goods can come in. So it's not to go criticize. So sometimes you see when we're not talking, we 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 work with institution. I'm the leader of the most uh, 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 potent political party called for democratic change in this country. <laughs> And I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time. You know, my duty is to make sure that all lives are protected, we are peaceful, we are stable. Mm -hmm. My political party, that why we put people in the, the both houses to fight the cause of our people. Yes. When they're making a, a, a budget for anything that needed to be done. For example, we talk about healthcare. We have the right, those people, to go back to the hospital because we know how. Uh, uh, important it is if you leave the hospital or healthcare employee going to a protest instead of going on the air and just trying to castigate and, and say all right we need to suggest to them i know you want to protest people are dying all of you can go protest yes when you protest we know that you're you're in need but you leave people to the hospital so they can do the work while we also are there too and, and fighting for them these are the suggestions it's not to be already and be insulting people so the, uh, what I did was to write to say look for the sake of our people we know it is critical now but could you please go back to the hospital and work let us fight your cause and how we fight the cause to go through the house of representatives and say look raise the healthcare bill because it's important you saw what happened to our honorable person yesterday and I said, I may so rest in peace. If we had a good healthcare facility, maybe it might be safe, who knows? Because we don't know what 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 took his life. So it's important that we support the healthcare bill. Last night I sat with a police officer that said they don't even have a car. They don't even have a car to to patrol. And these things are important, but it's not to be criticized and who we'll talk and who don't talk. We talk, but we talk to our people in the house and we talk to our political party. If you, if you, if you saw our our communication after the nationwide address, I show people are satisfied with that. It's not only to criticize, but to, to, to give a authoritative uh, 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 reference. That's what we did. So if you're not hearing me talking, it doesn't mean that I don't want to talk. I don't need to talk to people. Thank you, my okay, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh.